Uh, hi there, Mr. Automation is back with a short video uh, today with a video on parameters and how you can use them inside of your scripts or inside of a function, for instance. Uh, and this specific example I'm giving today is about uh, value from the pipeline. So uh, here on top you see like a function, right? I call it test. And it, oh, hang on. I call it test, and inside of that function I have an input parameter, like, right? I have one input parameter. And it's called uh, computer name. By the way, you can stick everything on one line if you like it. You can do it that as well. You can also do it like this. You know, you just cut it up in pieces. Uh, the parameter is mandatory, right? So you see here, that means it, you need to provide it as input. And this value from the pipeline, that means that it accepts values that come from the pipeline, right? So you, if you don't do like it for each item in item, but you do like uh, you get something and you pipe it to the for each object, you know, the, the slow uh, the slow looping mechanism, then you, uh, this comes into play. And uh, I'll show you how this works as well. So it accepts an input of a computer name or several computer names. You see that's an array of strings. So that means it's like accepts like a single string. And uh, hang on, that means it accepts an array of strings. Now here inside of the function we don't do nothing, we do something on the computer name. Uh, I cheated a little bit and I'll show that by creating here a server file with a lot of servers in it. I will delete that and show you the process how I cheated that. So what, what I did, I just created the quick loop here, you know. So I have right have that input file and if I now do this, right, I have a text file with 100 server names in it just to prove the pipeline mechanism I don't want to type all the time so I just created a text file with 100 servers in it on the fly I'll keep that in the uh, in the code for an example uh, basically on line 16 we get the content of that file right we do that here we pipe that to the for each object so that means it's on the pipeline and then we run it and I will make this a little bit more readable perhaps like this so we stick it on the pipeline and this mean dollar under bar means the current object on the pipeline and we pipe that with the pipe to the test function, right? The test function we have now here. And that test function accepts an input from the pipeline. So that should echo the input we give in here uh, on the screen. So let's see if that works. Let me clear the screen here. And close this left side. So let's run it. You see, do something from server, blah, 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 until 99. So uh, that works. And uh, let me see if I need to explain more. Yeah, perhaps on line 10. So that input file, again, I get like with split path here with this, this statement, I get the current working directory where the script is inside, right? My demo PS1 script. And then I, then I, have, I want to create a server.txt file, right? So I do that and here with the for each loop with this here means the same as out file minus append that that means the same so i'll keep that in the code it's a little bit more clear but i took a shortcut by using this this is also allowed that means out file append and if you do like the single one it's just out file so it overrides right it's appending that's overriding just the same as in linux uh, let me see yeah let me comment that back out again uh, I ran the script once more to prove that it still works. Let me clear the screen once more. Yeah, okay, that was it. Very simple example how to use uh, value from the pipeline, you know. Pipe it to a feature object, then you stick it on the pipeline here. You know, I pipe it to the test function, and this test function accepts the value from the pipeline. And that's why this is working as well. Uh, okay, that was it. Thanks for watching. Hope to see you in the next video. Bye.